Hey guys, it's Rowan. So it's, I don't know, it's like almost five months on testosterone. Um, and things are going really well. Uh, I've noticed some changes lately. More hair, deeper voice. Um, I cut my hair, so it's probably partly that, but I feel like my face is changing a lot and my hairline has gotten more male. I'm starting to get this little thing here where it might get bald sometime, like later, hopefully. Um, so, but that's cool because I'm, I'm looking more like a boy. Um, and I have been passing almost all the time. The only time I don't pass, I think, is when people, like, look at my school ID to, like, check me into the gym and stuff, and, you know, they see the big F. And so they're like, eh? Um, but mostly, I uh, haven't been having too many problems with that, which has been cool. Um, I've been having like finding issues. I think I might be coming down with something, but like I've been having a little trouble breathing lately and it and it sucks because like I don't want to stop finding, you know, but I've been wearing it looser and that sort of helps, but it's still just like I don't know, it's getting kinda bad, so I'm glad that I'll be getting surgery in like six months, but until then I don't really know. <laughs> um I'll have to figure out something. Maybe I'll get like right now I'm using the kind from Tea Kingdom. Um, that has the Velcro, which is cool because it's like extra binding, but I think I might get the kind that doesn't use the Velcro because, you know, it probably wouldn't be as, uh, restrictive with the breathing. Um, but, yeah. Oh, I got a packer. Uh, here. I'm gonna get that. Um, check this out. So, I haven't really figured out a good way to put this in my pants yet. And I don't really feel like I need to be using this on the daily or anything, like, that's not really, um, my scene, I guess, and, and I bike everywhere, so I don't really know if this would jive with biking, but I don't really know where to put it, like, without looking stupid, you know? Um, <laughs> cause I don't wanna, like, I still wear some, some girl's jeans, I don't want it to be, like, really tacky, but, um, but the website, um, there is a sex shop in Seattle and in New York. I think they might have one other one too called Babeland. Uh, Toys and Babeland is the full name. They have a website. And they sell packers for like $16. And this is the, that packer. Um, so that's cool. This is the small, which is pretty. I mean, it looks like a pretty um, regular. I mean, I know that average penis size in, in the United States is like five and a half. Uh, or at least it was when, uh, Breakfast of Champions was written. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is where I get my trivia, right? Outdated, awesome, postmodern novels. But, um, but yeah, it looks good. And, um, it, it has been, uh, used on a couple of occasions. And it looks good. Mostly just me sitting around by myself. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, it's cool. Um, there's that. And, um, what else? Um, uh, sex drive has been intense. Um, yeah, um, I've been noticing a lot of differences in, like, where I feel, like, sexual energy focusing, like, starting to focus itself more in my clit situation. Um, Penetration is still enjoyable, but yeah, I don't know. It, um, orgasms have been more intense. Like I always had. Um, this may be TMI, so you know, I don't know. <laughs> Disclaimering halfway through is awkward, but whatever. You're watching a video about trans people talking about their bodies, so you're in for it. You should know that. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, um, I used to have like wimpy, like multiple orgasms, or just just like eh, eh, eh. And now I'm able to have, like, one really intense one, which, which I always wanted to have, so cool. I get it, finally. Uh, all I had to do was transition. Um, and that's cool. Um, I haven't really been with anyone since I started transitioning fully, so that's going to be interesting when that does happen. Um, and what else? Oh, I did my T-count test, and I'm up to normal t-count level now, like normal for a guy, it was at 573 or something, 
So normal testosterone for dudes is like between five and seven hundred. So I'm doing good, right in the middle there. Um, on, a, on a low dose still, but I'm a tiny, tiny little guy. So I guess forty grams is enough for me, which is cool because it's expensive and I don't have to buy as much of it. <laughs> so yay. Um, and so that's going good. Uh, shots are going well. Haven't really had any problems with that. Um, still using my sparkly fairy band-aids, which are awesome. I highly recommend getting band-aids that you're excited about that are like reserved specifically for your shot. Just because, I don't know, for me it just makes it feel special. Like, because I associate regular band-aids with like, oh, it hurt myself, so now I need a band-aid and that sucks. But I have like my special band-aids that are like, yay, I got my shot, we, you know, whenever I see them like on me, it's a different association. So, um, I don't know, I found that helpful. It might be helpful for you too. Um, other than that, oh, I found out that I do fit into boys' clothes. Um, little boys, specifically, uh, boys 10 to 12, which is in boys medium. Uh, but I can find clothes like this jacket is totally for men. I mean, for boys, but it's, you know, straight, not like curved fitting. And it's pretty cool. So, um, downsides are obvious, but upsides are that boys' clothing is usually pretty cheap. So, <laughs> um,. That's cool. It is possible. I don't know what I'm going to do about dress shirts, though. Because, like, little boys' clothes, the neck is always too small. You know, because little boys are generally smaller. So, like, dress shirts, like, bleh, I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> Maybe just avoid formal occasions. Like, period. Um, but, oh, I've been getting, like, weird, like, it feels like almost period cramps, but they're not, because my period stopped about two months ago. Um... But occasionally I just get like, these twinges. I don't know. Um, I'm ask my doctor about that. Uh, but I don't know if anyone else has experienced that or what the deal with that is. But um, yeah, that's that. Um, it might just be me being weird. I've been working my abs a lot, so it could just be that, like, you know, working those small ones. Um, but yeah, I've been going to the gym. Ooh, I should show you. So I know um, it's gonna be kind of weird. But I have this fat redistribution thing that's been happening. The camera angle is gonna be awkward, and you you don't know you can't see the before, but like this is where I'm at, and this here was all much curvier. That's cool. And then I've got some muscles. Uh, um, it's been getting better, and my pec situation is pretty pecky. So I've definitely noticed a lot of, uh, of that. Obviously I've been going to the gym um, and I've been drinking a lot of hemp, hemp protein. Uh, hemp protein is awesome. Let me just take a minute. Hemp protein is, um, it has all of your essential amino acids and it's already in the format that your body needs it in. So like when you take whey protein or, or you know animal product protein, your body has to convert it into usable format before it can use it. So a lot of the protein and a lot of the, the like energy is lost in that conversion process. But hemp protein is already in that format. So it immediately is integrated. It's not hard on your digestive system at all. Um, and it doesn't cause you to produce estrogen like whey protein or soy protein. Soy protein causes your body to produce estrogen if you take a lot of it, which for some folks is awesome. Like if you want that, but if you're trying to transition to male, then not so much. <laughs> um, and it's pretty cheap. You can get it, like, a big thing of it for, like, $10 at Trader Joe's. Um, but it's really good. And it has, a, it has a, it actually tastes good. Like, most protein powders taste shitty. But it's just kind of like a mild, nutty flavor, and that's all. Um, and it mixes right into water or juice or whatever, no problem. Um, so I highly recommend that for anybody that, if you're, like, trying to build muscle. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's that for week, for, I don't know, month five. <laughs> so, yeah, I look forward to more updates, and I'll be back.